Okay, the last set, you had a look at the graphs, the monitor screen. We're going to have a look at the graph screen now. You can see it's over here on the right hand side. So we'll start it running. Then we'll go over on the graph screen. Now we're running at full speed here. You can see how fast the new USB transducer is. That's running at a thousand hertz. Okay. Now we be able to show temperature on this graph as you could before. You can see we've got a little tick box at the bottom here. Temperature. And you can see we set the temperature to read every second, which is what it's showing why it's a stepped. Okay. We've sort of set the time format for the axes here. You can see at the moment it's saying time in seconds. It's on automatic. So it's picked seconds because we've not got up to any minutes yet. We can have milliseconds if we wish. We can have force it into days, hours, minutes and seconds if we so wish. We'll leave it in seconds. At the bottom of the screen here, you'll see you've got a live readout from the active sensor. And that's the sensor that we selected on the previous screen. And that's giving a live readout of these figures at the present. What we can add, what we can do, we can add a marker in here. We'll add a marker, and you can see the markers appeared in there. And we'll add another marker. Now, one feature we've got on this software, we can zoom in on them, and we want to see specifically exactly what's happening in that area. And you can see I can zoom in, zoom in there. And narrowing exactly where that marker is. If I want to look around that marker. There we go. We'll have a look, go a bit further this way if we so wish. And you can see once you've selected the area, the box travels along the pressure line. So if you want to look somewhere else, you can look somewhere else. But you will focus on the marker. And we can really narrow that down tight if we want to. Oh, missed it. Let's just drag it back like that. Very easy to use. And you can see you can actually see pretty much each millisecond of recording. And if you want to go back, we can literally just drag it all back out. And we see the whole of the, the output. Well, the graph is also now a lot easier to adjust if you wanted to adjust the settings. You can adjust or your line colours, might be set on fuchsia. Okay, very pretty colour. We can also select different typefaces, different fonts, different colours. So you can add grid lines, take grid lines out. All nice and easy. And again, and we can alter the same on all your pressure, temperature. And you can also alter the the title is the moment it's hidden, but we can put the title in there if we so wish, and we can put it central, say. And you say you need to put whatever title you wish in there. We'll apply to all charts. There you go, and you see, and you've got your title of your graph there. 